my cameraman asked me start and i said yes from the day i was born my start <laughs> was there i never stopped and i know i don't know how to stop it that kind of guts made me to lose my best friends relatives lovers but i continued you might lose but it is good but i did not die <laughs> i died on the borrowed knowledge but it gave me a lot of good openings george macdonald the born on 10th december 1824 naberdinshire in scotland died on 18 september 1905 in surrey in england was scottish or the poet and christian congregational minister He was a pioneering figure in the field of modern fantasy literature and the mentor of fellow writer Lewis Carroll George Macdonald said you must learn to be strong in the dark as well as in the day else you will always be only half brave <laughs> yes when you talk about half brave i was talking about thinking about the husband and wife the way he loves his mother he equally loves his wife equally loves his sister equally loves his neighborhood girl of course that every man likes to but equally loves his cousin and any girl he sees he loves we thought any discrimination that day he is called a man the wife if he loves the husband the father and not the father the brother the cousin brothers the neighborhood boy or any man in the street without discrimination is she sees she reflects a brother or husband in that man then she is called a woman not half a woman when i was small um i went to an engineering college program because that engineering college was next door to our house because it was our property which we gave to them so they constructed huge big engineering college so all engineering pro- college programs i am there one annual day celebration one psychologist was telling the boys you boys and you girls when a boy looks at a girl the girl will always think he is looking at me for something for sex to catch me to have me but boys i tell girls i tell you when a boy is looking at you think maybe your face is almost like his sister so he must be looking at you in that way if that was the way it would could have been beautiful for a second it shook me yes many times i looked at the other people i felt they got some resemblance to what i loved people some of them and that could have been beautiful you must learn to be strong in the dark as well as in the day that means this and that when you don't differentiate between this and that day and dark when you don't find the difference with day and dark like the temple in we went to, to for a um, with the children uh to a place where there's temple in, where they jump up and down and most of the sighted children were little scared but we found the blind student the visually challenged children they were enjoying because they did not know the height <laughs> from the top of the ro- rock they have to catch and then they come fast down in a rope down the sighted children were all screaming 
but the blind children were enjoying that rope because they couldn't see the height. It's better not to measure the height, weight, caste, religion of your wife or husband or children, like what happened. The moment you measure that happiness is not the sighted children already measured. And you, when you measure the dark and the day and you segregate them, you get frightened because you have been taught to live in light. They made you a nobody by sitting in the light and when you see the dark, your eyes couldn't penetrate the dark. In that darkness, so much of beauty. You must learn to be strong in the dark as well as in the day. The day you understand that one topic, which child is frightened of the question because he, not, he doesn't differentiate the question and the answer because the child was always conscious because the child was not doing any measurement. Mom is mom, for dad is dad. The love, you cannot measure the love of your dad and your mom cannot measure the love of your lovers, cannot measure the love of your wife for your husband or your children or your relatives. The moment you measure, fear enters. The moment you measure, question and answer are different. When you believe the dark and the light is too different, dark as well as the day are too different, then the fear enters that my dad and that man is different. If you know your father, that is sufficient. You can know any man in the world. You don't have to fear. If you know your mom, you don't have to fear any woman in the world, any girl in the world. You don't differentiate because through the mom, you have seen everything of a womanhood. Through the father, you have seen everything of a manhood. And through the question, you always find him because mom is full of answers. Mom, before you could complete, she comes with a cup of coffee and tea and milk and love. Mom, the moment you say, Dad, Dad is a beta, my son. I have brought all the money and given to mom. Let us go to mom and eat together. You must learn to be strong in the dark as well as in the day. Else you will always be only half brave. You are half brave because you did not take care of your exercises. You did not take care of your early bird catches the best to pray because you didn't get up early morning to look at the sun and do your Surya Namaskar. You did not stretch your body when you did not stretch your body. You were always frightened. You yourself knew the body yourself kept on telling. Yes, the sickness is going to come. You are diseased. Yes, you know it very well. You do not have to wait. The first answer is already given. You are only half brave. I will teach you to be brave. Come with me. Join hands with me. You learn what is love. And I will teach you how to be brave with an open heart. Love your wife and your husband as one. Don't differentiate between the dark and the day. I will teach you to become brave, to face the examination. Come with me. Don't differentiate the question and the answers when you are conscious. You become observant. All questions carry an answer like the mom carries a love. I will teach you to be brave. Come with me. Yes, listen to me and then go do your exercise. Stretch your body. And you don't have to visit the hospital.